Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to calculate a tracking signal after a certain number of periods. This question relates to problem 4.45 in your text. Here we're provided with monthly actual and forecast demand for May through December for certain units of a product manufactured by a company. So we have actual demand A and forecast demand F for the months of May through December. And our requirement is to determine the tracking signal at the end of December. Well, the formula for tracking signal is equal to the cumulative error divided by the mean absolute deviation. So what I've done is I've already created a couple of columns here ready for us to work. The first column here, I have actual minus forecast between two bars. Well, this is going to be the absolute error. And then in my last column, I have A minus F in parentheses. This is just the error. So for the month of May, 100 minus 100 is zero. So we have an actual error of zero and an absolute error of zero. For June, 80 minus 104 is a difference of minus 24, but an absolute difference of 24. July, 110 minus 99 is positive 11. August, 115 minus 101 is an error of 14, and that's positive. September, 105 minus 104 is an error of positive 1. October, we have a difference of 6. November, a difference of 20 when we take 125 minus 105. And for December, a difference of 11. So all we want to do now is sum all of those columns. The sum of the absolute errors will add up to 87. And the cumulative sum of all of the individual errors that factor in all the pluses and minuses is equal to 39. Well now if we take this 87 cumulative absolute error or deviation and divide by eight periods, this gives us an MAD of 10.875. So when it comes to calculating our tracking signal, we have a cumulative error of 39 divided by a mean absolute deviation of 10.875, and that will be a tracking signal of 3.586. And that's how you calculate the tracking signal.